All right, first impressions of Tirana. We have seen nobody yet who is walking down the street uh, drinking a coffee, right? Nobody in their car drinking a coffee. Nobody at a construction site, you know, four or five guys all drinking coffees. Mm -hmm. It's possible this is because the coffees are this big. <laughs> so cute. So this is a macchiato, which is espresso and milk. How is it? Whoa, it's powerful. Powerful, right? And I got the mm. cappuccino. Yours is which bigger. Is bigger. It's a large, but it's still small uh, in Canadian standard. In Canadian standard, we would put this much coffee in 250 milliliters of water and have a big cup like this, or 200 <laughs> mils. Uh, I would say this is really good, though. Yeah. Mm. They have good coffee. Here. This is dangerous, though, because if you have two or three of these, you'll probably be vibrating. <laughs> this is powerful. That's true. Small but powerful. Oh. Just like Albania. Wow. Boom. And we also got now, some yeah, sandwiches. Now, yeah, we got two sandwiches mm -hmm. and two coffees. Mortadella, fresh made. What could be better than this? To be clear, this place normally would be full, but we're a little late. We've missed the breakfast rush. It's like 9.15 in the morning. Yeah. There you have it, guys. Okay, let's eat up and then let's go to the lake and Grand Park of Tirana. Yes. Some beautiful greenery. And we'll walk around the town, mm. or the city, I should say. Is it good? Very nice breakfast. Five stars. Okay. Let's eat. Let's go. I'm the kind of guy to scoop out all the bubbles, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> the bubbles are the most bitter part. Is this your first time having mm -hmm. macchiato? Macchiato. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was. And she told me it's espresso and milk. I was like, oh, accidentally ordered the perfect thing. In Canada, you get a double double. Here, you get a macchiato. <laughs> In Canada, it would be this big. You know? Right. Ooh, it's Euro European coffee. So far, so good. All right, let's go. So nice, Lots of shops and cafes and restaurants. Wow. And I will say the weather, late May, perfect. Perfect. I think it's 23 degrees today or something. Yes. Perfect for me. So nice. Walk in the sun, walk in the shade. Perfect. And so many cafes and restaurants. People are just sitting in the patio over there. Over here, people enjoying the sun, the nice weather. Yeah. <laughs> this is a beautiful town. Loving it. So lively. Oh, let's go, Steve. Beautiful day. <laughs> That's awesome. Just walking down the street when you're in a new country. Yeah. It's exciting. And the streets, they're very narrow. Kind of narrow. And everyone kind of parks. And I guess a lot parallel. of one way streets. Yeah. I think it's a one way street. Yeah. So cool. So many clothing shops and so many restaurants. And most of them are like full of people. <laughs> I always think Toronto has, uh, it feels like a small town, but it has a million people. So it's a big city, a million people is enough people, but it feels like a small town, not a lot of skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. All the businesses are, are local shops. Yeah, and- A lot of big franchises or big brands. It's really yeah, nice. Yeah, and mostly the buildings, they're all like apartment buildings and with a shop underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Really nice. All right, let's go. Next stop, the lake. The lake, yay. Such a nice walk on the way to the lake. Wow.
Oh, there you have it, Ivana. Look at this. And I just love how the city is surrounded by nature. Just look at the mountains so surrounding this lake, incredible. this artificial lake. Yeah, this artificial lake makes me want to be a city planner. Somebody <laughs> had to figure this out and they did such a good job of it. Yeah. It's so beautiful here. It's so green. So the weather nice. is so perfect. Perfect. I the can't best weather. underscore how last week we were in Dubai and it was 46. Mm -hmm. I'm not exaggerating. And now 46 degrees. Today is 23. So nice by this artificial lake and the walking path they made here. Yeah. Tons of people on it, bicycles. People Absolutely are yeah, biking, fantastic. they're jogging, they're with their family, taking their kids on a beautiful weekend. And look at the apartment by the mountains, I just love it. So nice. Yeah, it's so cool. Uh, first it. impressions of Toronto. Good first impressions. Yes, of course. Very, very good. This I is just love awesome. how the city is close by the nature. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I could hang out here all day. The weather is so good. It's so beautiful. Oh, man. <laughs> It's so nice here. Yeah. Good job, Tirana. Whoever designed this uh, artificial lake, they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. Five stars. <laughs> Next time for a snack at a cafe here. I will say this, first impressions of Tirana. Uh, obviously Albania is majority Muslim population. I have not seen the word halal written once. Any restaurant, even in the grocery store I didn't see it. There's certainly tons of people drinking beer all the time. Not sure, maybe it's a more relaxed version of Islam. Willing to learn, unsure. Just noticed that I've never seen the word halal. That's true. Interesting. But I say we go for a, uh, I think I cannot have another macchiato. <laughs> How, I'm still, I'm still feeling, espresso. no, 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 to be honest, about, let's say seven minutes after I had the first macchiato, for the first seven minutes, I felt like I was high on drugs. <laughs> I was like, oh man, oh. so I think one macchiato enough per day for, for me, right. but uh, let's go for a snack. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, so we ended up walking around the entire lake and the massive trees everywhere made the walk so beautiful and in the shade. I will say not a single piece of garbage on the whole walk perfectly clean there's big garbage bins everywhere so we enjoyed that the lake is beautiful from all different angles we saw it from and the far side where Ivana was saying earlier all the houses are so beautiful I mean up close they look like such a great place to live with the jogging path near them it's incredible now since then we've come through the city to come find some lunch I will say we've both been so impressed on how green the city is Seriously, parks and trees and bushes and big mature trees everywhere we look. So we've been loving that. Tons of cute cafes with funny signs amongst the nature. I even saw a place on the side of the road, they had a fridge selling beer for like $1. So I'm curious how a Muslim population country is selling beer. Obviously we're in Europe. I think lots of Europe, you can walk down the street having a beer. But I'm wondering if it's because we were on the street called Pope John Paul II, maybe it's a Catholic area and there's like a Muslim and non-Muslim area. I'm not sure. Willing to learn about that. I think our audience will find that interesting because most of our audience is from Pakistan or Malaysia. We are certainly not selling ice cold beer on the side of the road for a dollar. So not attaching any judgment of what should or shouldn't be happening, but I'm willing to learn more. Hopefully as we spend more time in Albania, we can meet some Albanian people and see more about um, how these things happen. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That being said, we saw a really cool guy selling books on the bridge. It was really, really beautiful. We saw a Canadian pharmacy. So we learned that Canadian in Albanian is Canadese, mm -hmm. I would guess. Canadese. And we saw a bunch of fruit sellers. We even picked up some fresh strawberries for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Just incredible. And now we're here at lunch. So first things first, cheers everybody. Bing. I have to say, my favorite part of Tirana so far, when you go to a restaurant like this, right, 
roadside kind of cafe, beautiful restaurant, they either don't have a menu or they don't want you to order off of it. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. So we just had a 10 minute, five minute conversation with the waitress. We're like, what do you have? She's like, we have, we have meat, beef, chicken, we can do <laughs> pasta, do you want pizza? I'm like, do you have a menu? No, no, no. I'm like, wow, I'm like, what do you recommend? She's like, uh, we have a chicken, but it's like a, it's like a big chicken. I go, is it like a duck? She goes, yeah. I go, okay, we'll have that. So we've got two orders coming of duck and pasta. Fale mandari. Fale mandari means thank you. I'm wondering if I can say uh, yo fale mandari, which would be no thank you. Huh. Because in Pakistan, if you say ne shukriya, means no thank you, it's like an insult. It's like, you don't get a thank you. Like, I'm not thanking you. Right. Remember one time I said that and my friend said, hey, don't say that. Yeah. So I'm wondering if I can say yo fale mandari for no thank you. Huh. That means said the waitress, super nice. Uh, communicating with us and helping us order because no menus so interesting no menus That's it makes true. me feel like I'm in a small town of 5,000 people like yeah. some tiny little town like we it's went, so familiar yeah we you went know? to like three or four restaurants already and none of them have menus they don't have menus so I'm like we'll have the duck I'm like she's like do you want a grill do you want a roasted she, like like custom order I'm like how would you suggest she goes the best one is the roasted with the pasta yeah. I go, that's what we'll have you know better than me so I'll just get what you say so yeah. we won't do an entire food vlog today because we'll save that for separate, but we'll show you our duck and pasta uh, homemade, it feels like. It feels homemade when it's not on a menu, you know? Right. I love the feeling of no menu. It's really great. And we're like in a kind of like a patio restaurant bar like this, where they're like a bunch all over the city, like three or four city. in one block. Yes. And they're in always full. To be clear, yeah, it's Saturday, so the whole place, the whole city is very busy. But during the week, we've noticed that at lunchtime, I think they must have an hour or even two hours off from lunch. Yeah. Because at lunchtime around 12 or 1 o'clock, the cafes are all full like again. All of them. Even during like the week. All of them. Which is really interesting. Yeah. Like all of the like cafe in Canada, and restaurants. Yeah. In Canada, the cafes would be empty all day until 5 o'clock. People leave work and then they'd be full. Yeah. But exactly. like during the day, it would always be empty. Like nobody would be working. One guy would be working there, you know, one customer or something. Yeah. So very interesting. <laughs> very cool. Anyway, with that, let's eat some duck and pasta. Then after this, we're going to something called the Pyramid. Yeah. Which sounds really good. It used to be a museum, so. It used to be a museum and now it's like a pyramid tourist attraction. Boom. Okay, so duck and pasta, pyramid. What could be better than that? Let's go. Big meal. Huge meal. Huge meal. <laughs> what? Oh, it looks so good. Duck and pasta, just like she said. Yes. Oh my gosh, let's eat. Thank you. So normally I would have gave like a dollar or two. Didn't have any small ones, I gave him five bucks. Come on, that was nice for him. That was nice for us. Come on. Wow, I feel so sleepy after that meal. That was a big meal. <laughs> $24. $24. By the way, the meal here, they're quite affordable for that big of a plate, duck, pasta, and a glass of beer, and my juice. It was $24. And this morning, actually, uh, our breakfast, two coffees with two sandwiches, it was five dollars so it's quite an affordable country here in albania one of the things that i love about it so um i've also noticed the cars here mostly they're mercedes benz or volkswagen True. right <laughs> cars, especially yeah. mercedes everywhere. the most popular cars here yeah mercedes benz and everyone is so fashionable in this city so cars and <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm close. <laughs> so cool. Anyway. Okay. Next stop, uh, the pyramid. Let's go. Cheers. After we got full, we got more food. Actually, this is smoothies. I got uh, kiwi, bananas, and all the other goody stuff. Mm. Anyway. We tried to go to Pyramid, but it's closed for construction. Yeah, yeah. They're building some other new... I don't know what it's for. <laughs> like an office or... It looks pretty epic based on the plans they were showing. Yeah, But it it's definitely cool. closed now. Yeah. But... So there you have it. There you have it. So tell me your first impressions, Ivana. First impressions. Sum up our experience today. 
to sum up our experience, Tirana, cool cafes, mm -hmm. good coffee, mm -hmm. and very, very affordable coffee, by the way, and everything else is also very affordable. Right. Uh, nature, lots of mountains. Super green city. Super green, amazing, very hip and trendy. Mm -hmm. Everyone is fashionable. And good food. <laughs> I would say pretty good first impressions. Yeah. You just listed way, everything you want in a city. Yeah, and there is no tall skyscrapers, by the way. It has a small town feel, doesn't it? Yeah, it has a small town but hip and trendy kind of feel. Like in, in Canada, it would remind me of like Quinn West area, which is like trendy and hip, but yeah. Cool. Cool city. Um, All right. I'm loving it so far. So we cannot wait to explore more of Tirana and other parts of Albania. What's this? Birek. Birek. Oh, that's a traditional Albanian food. So we should make a traditional Albanian food vlog soon. You guys let us know if you know any traditional food mm. that we should try mm. and where. <laughs> cool. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and cheers Yay. to smoothies. Cheers, guys. Later, guys. <laughs> I speak duck. Is that a duck or a swan? I think it's a duck. I think it's a swan. A no, duck a is... Neck like this. Duck is brown. Actually, I don't know. Maybe it's not a goose. Come on with ducks. Let us know. Everybody in the comments. <laughs> duck or swan. Oh, jeez. I think it's a duck. I wonder what this fruit is. Mini apples. Little apples. <laughs> yeah. Lots of fruit markets here, by the way. One dollar strawberries. Amazing. Filming this? <laughs> okay. Never worked in a bar. Perfect pour.